Hi guys, uh, in this video, I will be showing you how to um, add Google conversion tracking to your website so you can easily track your conversions. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to um, go into your Google Ads um, campaign manager, which you can access by going to, you know, ads.google.com. And then when your dashboard uh, opens up like this, you have um, something like this. Next, you want to go and click on these um, tools and settings. So um, when you click on tools and settings, you see under measurements, you see conversions. So you want to click on conversions. Now, um, here you would see a uh, new conversion action. So you want to click on this blue button here where it says uh, new conversion action. So just click on it. And then you'll be asked uh, where you want to track your conversions. So in my case, I would be choosing uh, my website, which is a WordPress website. So we'd go ahead to click website here. Um, okay, it's asking for your domain. So you can just go ahead and put your website domain there. Okay, let's see. Okay, so um, it has brought up uh, some, since it scanned the website, it's asking if you want to load the conversion action um, using the URL or but here yeah, what we're going to be doing is we want to add the conversion action manually using code so let's see so add the conversion action manually click on this so a message comes up uh, conversion action created manually needs to be added to your website code etc so you can just read through it to um, get the instructions correctly so yeah the goals and action that you want to optimize for so you're going to uh, if you want to track purchases you want to track add to cart uh, if you want to track um, submit lead form now in my case I'm going to be tracking you know like uh, people who submitted a lead form so I'll just click this and then you name your conversion so just quickly um, give it a name uh, 20 tips lead okay now um, the next step is to add a value uh, to your conversion for example if you own an e-commerce store now you would want to add a value you can use the same value for each conversion if you sell a single product on your e-commerce store um, use a different value for each conversion if you sell multiple products or you might decide not to use a value for the conversion for example this lead lead form you can decide not to use a conversion a value for the conversion but for me I would want to attribute at least one dollar to the leads generated so it says here the value is already there one US dollar so now it's asking um, how many conversions to count per click or per interaction um, because we are doing the lead form we are uh, trying to get conversions for the leads would we'll be selecting one just one see it's, it already says here recommended for lead signups and other conversions because only the first interaction is valuable and here um, let's see 30 days click through conversion window the engaged view conversion window I think we'll just leave all of these as it is uh, more advanced people can decide if you have enough data on your size you can decide to go um, to change all of these settings if you have enough data but since we don't have enough data we are just going to stick with this and that is it for this page 
okay so if you have enough data you can decide to go with this um, engaged view conversion window three days this for video engagement since we are not tracking video we just leave it as it is then view true it's already in one day so we'll just leave it as it is and then this is the attribution model if you want to attribute the conversion which ad or campaign do you want to attribute um the conversion to for if you have now it says data driven last click first click linear time decay well i could spend the whole another 30 minutes explaining all of these but since um, this data driven is recommended we can go with this or this last click which means that the conversion will be attributed to the last ad that the um, conversion came through in that the um, person clicked so we can actually just go with last click then done so this is done then we'll save and continue okay so here it says um we need to add a tag to our wordpress website mine is a wordpress website if you use another type of website you can add this tag using your um, google tag manager you can easily add the tag with it so if you already have like a global site tag on your website you can go ahead to skip this you can go ahead to skip this but if you don't the first thing you need to do is just copy this copy this tag and then quickly go to your wordpress admin so i'm ready on my wordpress admin i'm going to be using a plugin called um insert headers and footers so let's see i already have it installed insert headers and footers okay yeah so it is here so um we want to we want to add this to the header to the other section so i'm just going to i already have some other codes here so what i'm going to do is just put a space and then paste this paste this after I've, i'm done with that i'm going to click save Okay, so that is saved. Let's go back to our ads manager and then see. So we already put that. The next step is to put the conversion event tag on your website. So we are going to see the event tag here. You can see, see event tag. So this is the event tag. And now this is important. Um, if you are tracking a button, you would want to... Um, select click you can see the code has changed if you are going to be tracking a click like for example the submit form button you want to um, you want to track that but in our case we are going to be tracking the thank you page i'm going to be tracking the thank you page of the lead form after they've submitted the um, lead form they will be taken to a um, thank you page so this is what we're going to do we are going to on page load of the thank you page we are going to be adding this javascript code on it so copy this has been copied let's go to um then you go to your wordpress dashboard and then you go to the particular page that you want to add the code in so i think i already have it open here so just paste it here um i'm using another plugin for this the plugin is called headers and footer scripts so you can just search that and add the plugin so after you've done this just click update okay 
this has been okay um now that you've added the the event code to that specific page that you want to track the next thing to do is just to go back to your um google ads dashboard and see the next steps let's see close i think that is all and then we'll click done you can see now this the conversion is presently being tracked and which is very good now we want to confirm if the um if the tag that we added to our to our websites if they've been you know installed correctly so um let us visit the page this is the lead um this is the thank you page and this is yeah this is the this is the lead form this is the lead magnet page so what we want to do is for this we are going to be using a google chrome extension called google tag assistant legacy it's already enabled on this site so let me try and let me reload this let me reload this um this site to see if it's, if it has been you know installed correctly okay the site has loaded now let's see you can see it says five yeah uh, I, okay yes this is it this is the new one that was just added you can see it is there already um, next thing we want to do is to go to this to the thank you page and see if um, if the conversion code was installed correctly so let's click enable here and then we'll refresh we'll refresh the site okay so it's been refreshed let us see now yeah you can see this is the code that we just added this is the code that we added google ads conversion tracking and this is the you know the id for the um, google ads accounts you can see google ads conversion tracking which means our conversion codes has been you know installed correctly so when we start receiving data um, via our ads it will all be collected and you know and shown here so that is it i really hope um you found this um video very useful for you occasionally i share videos like this and it would be really really great if you can you know like comment and share for visibility and also subscribe to my channel uh, thanks for watching